Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And here are five things you should not do in family court. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, click the like button if you enjoy this video. Also, check out some of my other videos. I have a host of topics, all related to family law, that I discuss and go into detail about. <laughs> I've been practicing marital and family law for many years and whether it been my personal cases or that I so happen to be in the courtroom, I've watched some train wrecks. And from there, my hope is that anybody watching this video will not make some of the mistakes that I'm going to discuss here today. The first thing you should not do is be late. It sounds simple enough. However, you'll be surprised how many people do not understand that these are formal court proceedings. And although typically speaking, judges sometimes come in late, attorneys can come in late, as well as you as the party come in late, you really should not be. I've seen clients and attorneys alike be ripped apart by a judge for being late. And although you being late should not affect the overall decision of the court, it will definitely affect the court's mood. And you never want to mess with that. The second thing you should not do is be unprepared. Whether you have an attorney or representing yourself, you definitely want to be prepared for what's going to happen. If it's a case management conference, you have to be prepared to describe where your case is and where your case needs to go. If this is an evidentiary hearing, you need to be prepared to present your evidence and understand the rules regarding the evidence to present that. I've seen so often people with great cases not be successful because they just weren't prepared. Now, if you have an attorney, they're usually the ones responsible for getting your hearings prepared, so you have less to worry about. However, if you're representing yourself, you are responsible to know what is needed and expected of you. And this can be very, very tough because even attorneys sometimes have a hard time getting cases prepared, and they've been doing this for many years. The third thing, that you should not do in family court is speak over the judge or the other party. This is another one that seems simple enough. However, I've seen so many people get in trouble with this. It's the judge's courtroom. Always keep that in mind. And you never want to interrupt the judge, but even more importantly, you also don't want to interrupt the other person while they are speaking. Now, that's a little different from what is called objections, which has its own process in and of itself. However, you definitely want to know how to navigate being able to speak when spoken to and properly intersect yourself within arguments and positions of at least the other party. All that being said, that if you're unsure of when you should interject, it's better not to. I've seen courts regularly reprimand and even sanction parties for not being able to follow such a simple and straightforward rule. The fourth thing you should never do in a court hearing is be angry and combative. I understand family law is a very stressful and difficult process to go through. However, if you go to the court with an angry or combative mentality, the courts will see it. And one of the things the courts look at when making decisions is the temperament and personality of that party. You do not ever want the court to begin to consider you to be the difficult, the angry, upset, scornful, combative party. Having the court 
attach that type of personality to you can literally mean the difference between you having a successful outcome and having an outcome that you'll want to appeal. I know it's very difficult, but you want to make sure that when you step into that courtroom, you leave the emotion, especially the negative emotion, out of that courtroom. The fifth and final thing that I believe you shouldn't do in family court is be disrespectful. Now, overall, all the things that I'm suggesting basically comes along the lines of being disrespectful, but it's worth it to note very explicitly that you should not do anything that would outright disrespect the court, the opposing party, and the overall family law proceeding. I've seen too many situations where a party thinks it's okay to curse at judges, threaten judges, threaten the opposing party, threaten attorneys. And this obviously goes beyond being disrespectful, but obviously the worse it gets, it doesn't help your case. And honestly, it can get you found in contempt and possibly even arrested. That being said, after all that happens, you still have to get in front of that judge. You still have to finish your case. So there is nothing that is gained from being disrespectful, taking a negative posture, and just trying to challenge the entire court process during the court hearing. So those are five things you shouldn't do during a family court case. And if anything, just keep this in mind. My overall advice is that if you're doing anything out of anger, combativeness, or spite, just don't do it. Family cases are the most emotional and sensitive area of practice that I can think of. And nothing can be gained by approaching it with a place of anger, frustration, or challenging of the court. So if you or someone you know are going through a family law matter or going having a difficult time in family court, please contact our office. We'll sit you down with a consultation and we'll give you some options of how we can help you. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see more of these videos as we post them. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.